If you've called the doctor's office as a new patient, you may have heard that the wait to get in would be weeks or even months. Everywhere, patients are struggling to find primary care physicians. I looked into what's causing this problem and what's being done to ensure patients get the care they need. Oh, it's, it's so frustrating. Man. Like many on the Central Coast, Jerry Ross is struggling to find a new primary care doctor. Whenever you can't get doctor care, it's a crisis, especially if you need it. His longtime doctor switched to concierge medicine, which means he would have had to pay a fee in advance for medical services. The average cost is usually between 1500 to 3000 a year. I'm on a fixed income. I, I just couldn't. There's just no way. I mean, if I didn't want to eat or you know, drive my car, yeah. After several calls to different clinics, he finally got an appointment. The first appointment she has is in, in uh, January 18th, uh, 2024, I go, a year? Jerry is not alone. Across the country and the Central Coast, there is a worsening physician shortage. In California, only about half of the state's PCP needs were met in 2002. Do we have enough doctors to match the need of our population? Yeah, we absolutely do not. I've, I've been here for 20 years, both practicing primary care and being an administrator with Dignity Health. And during my entire time here, we have not had enough. Dr. Scott Robertson is the president and CEO of Pacific Central Coast Health Centers. He tells me on the Central Coast, it often takes several weeks to a few months to get an initial appointment with a primary care physician. If there wasn't a shortage, that would be one to two weeks. Robertson says the high cost of living on the Central Coast is one of many reasons why we're seeing fewer doctors. And that's extremely important within primary care, which is already one of the lower paid specialties. And many of these physicians now are coming out of medical school with sometimes two, three, even $400,000 worth of debt. And so these types of financial decisions are extraordinarily important for them in their future. In 2019, state data showed nearly a third of San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara County residents live in a primary care shortage area, meaning there's only one full-time doctor per 2,000 or more patients. The latest state data from 2020 includes nurse practitioners and physician assistants along with doctors. But our area still falls short. I think the, the, the biggest issue there is that because there is a shortage of primary care, it is stressing the safety net, which means the emergency care system. Emergency rooms are having increasing times where they're seeing patients that probably don't have emergencies, but they don't have doctors either. Dr. Renee Bravo is a trustee of the California Medical Association. They've been constantly in touch with lawmakers to address the ongoing shortage. But the COVID-19 pandemic burnout among doctors exacerbated the problem, driving some doctors to cut hours or leave the workforce. The American Medical Association expects a wave of retirements too. I myself am, am approaching Medicare age and I do not have a primary care physician. They, they left and uh, I am in the same boat as many, many people here. And I'm a doctor that's been here, you know, almost 40 years. I asked Central Coast Health Centers what's being done to meet the demand. Lompoc Health created alternatives for those who need a PCP, staffing urgent care centers with physicians, nurse practitioners, and physician assistants. Tenet Health works with recruitment firms to attract physicians and conducts weekly interviews with doctors in various areas. Dignity Health started a residency program out of Marion Regional Medical Center. The program's been very successful. Um, you're never going to retain 100% of the doctors, but we retain around 50 to 60% of the physicians since the program started producing graduates about uh, four or five years ago. Cottage Health is expanding its graduate medical education program and recently developed a pediatric residency to recruit and retain physicians. On the state level, the California Medical Association is advocating for new medical schools, expanding education opportunities and loan repayment programs. But these solutions will take time. For patients like Jerry Ross, all he can do for now is wait and hope. Hopefully I don't get sick. And also contributing to the shortage, the Central Coast is considered a rural area, which means doctors get lower reimbursements compared to those in larger metropolitan areas like Los Angeles or San Francisco. That means lower pay for physicians.